Three Guilford County students recognized tonight by the Guilford County Board of Education after a year that saw all three lose their lives to tragedy. A moment of silence was held for each student and their families were given condolences by school board members. Fox H. Jordan Brown was there and Jordan, I know this was a very moving and emotional start to the meeting. It was, Neil. There was a heaviness in the room you could feel, and of course, some tears. You have to understand, these students were very young, just 6, 14, and 18 years old. The families I spoke to tonight say they were happy and grateful that the school board took the time out to recognize their children. On behalf of the Board of Education, we would like to extend our deepest condolences to the families, friends, and teachers of Basile Wilson, Cameron Robertson, and Brendan Redfern. Three Guilford County students who tragically lost their lives in 2021 were given a special tribute at Tuesday's Board of Education meeting. I felt really good when I got the call. It made me feel like that, um, that no one forgot them. It's been a long seven months for Jessica Brewer since the death of her 14-year-old son, Basil Wilson. His killer still has not been found. She says while she waits for answers, this tribute reminded her of the good memories. Basil Wilson was a student with a great smile. He arrived early at Dudley High School each day where he would greet his teachers and staff as they entered the building. That was my son to the T. I dropped him off every morning and he was the guy taking the chairs down for homeroom. Very respectful. School board leaders shared memories about each student. Six-year-old Cameron Robertson, who passed away in September, was known for his love of sports. We're glad that all of Greensboro and the triad can know how much of a great little boy he was. And I'm not just saying that because he was our son and brother, but he was really a great kid. What was probably the most comforting for these families was being around other people who understand the same grief. It's heartbreaking to hear other parents crying around you because of the same thing you're feeling. I hate that it brought us together under these circumstances, but it was good to have other ones there that are kind of going through the same thing we're going through because every day is a struggle and we have so much love and support from family and friends in our community. And so it felt good to be amongst all others. Former Page High School student Brendan Redfern was also recognized. He was killed back in October in a uh, shooting on Kildare Drive in Greensboro. His family declined to speak with us tonight, but we did want to acknowledge that he was recognized as well. Now, there are no new developments in his case or the shooting of Basil Wilson. In Greensboro, Jordan Brown, Fox 8 News. Thoughts going out to all three.